My mother immigrated to Canada in the early 80s. The first place she called home was La Salle. She had a one and a half apartment on Shevchenko and that's where I was pretty much born. I was, you know, I was born in La Salle Hospital and from being a kid in that neighborhood to, you know, to a teenager, to going to high school there and my first job. That's where all those strong, the most important memories. Career aside, like those real memories, those real friendships, family, basically becoming a little person, you know, are all influenced by that neighborhood and the multicultural aspect of it. I think it really made me who I am. My name is Fluke, I'm 30 years old. I'm a mural artist. Here we are, you know, almost 30 years later after I started painting and, you know, we're taking the time now to like showcase like a snapshot of LaSalle through this, this public art initiative, you know, and it's really important to me because it comes with a lot of memories and, you know, emotional baggage from my experience. And I think it's needed, it's meaningful and it's a good time. I think neighborhoods are 100% built by the people. You can build it as, as beautifully as you can, you know, but it's really the, the stories and the people that live there that, that make it what it is. And to have the privilege to even just showcase a little bit of it, to kind of start off this storytelling process, to be there in the beginning for me is extremely important. The primary focus for me was to showcase certain elements that are, you know, authentic to the neighborhood. Aesthetically, like anybody can look at the wall and be like, oh, this is a great wall, whatever. But for those who actually are from that neighborhood and that know what this building means or what this, where this flower grows, like it really touches home a little bit more, you know? One of the questions that people often ask me is, you must be really good at drawing. I don't draw and I don't do well on computers. Since I was a kid, I had a learning disability and, and, and heavy dys dyslexic kind of mindset that prevented me from concentrating on smaller tasks. And I did relatively well when my entire body was engaged. I basically started drawing on walls on a larger scale because it involved moving my entire body. Working on that scale is natural to me. It's how I express myself. just spraying and speckling the wall with all these microscopic millions of dots. It's coming out of there in this randomized pattern, just hitting the wall. There's something very unique and special about it, almost therapeutic. And um, the process of painting it is very special. I get to cultivate and, and witness people's reactions while I'm painting it. Like every day, I get to speak to people who live there and people who, who have an opinion, you know, and people are, you know, are happy to see the change. And this dialogue is really part of the process. It's almost just as important as the art piece itself. A lot of people in my life, including like my siblings, my parents, cousins, my childhood friends, a lot of those people actively contribute to the community. My brother owns a clinic down the street, you know, and my sister's a school teacher in the neighborhood, and although these people are doing it every day, to come back and like, in my own little way as an artist, finally be able to contribute and give something back, to be able to come in and be like, look, like, this is what I can do. That means a lot to me. It makes me feel part of that community.